Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you the top five apps that we use to run our various business ventures. I think these are just some really useful apps. Most of them are free or very, very low cost. And I think if you're a small business or a growing business, it's definitely worth checking them out. So in first place, although these are kind of in no particular order, but the one I think that we use the most, I guess, is G Suite, so Google Suite. We use it to actually kind of like host our email, we use it for shared folders, so we use the Google Drive quite a lot. So in there we store things like contracts that have to be signed, important legal documents. We also store all of our photographs and video and collateral, which is really useful if you, you know, need other freelancers, etc. to work on them. And no, this um, video isn't being sponsored by Google, I wish it would. Um, but it isn't and I have used other storage like you know obviously iCloud you know with Apple and I've also used Dropbox I just find uh, the Google Drive way 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 easier so that's why I've kind of stuck with Google Drive I was using Dropbox before Google Drive came along but hands down I prefer Google Drive every time so Google we use for emails, calendar yeah, shared folders, uh, brilliant. The next one on the list is, and in fact there's a couple, so there's Canva. So Canva is great for like social media um, posts and graphics and visuals and kind of like basic graphic design that you need to do. Bear in mind, in our core team, none of us is massively technical. One or two have got a few specialities, but um, if you're not technical, these apps are great for you. So Canva is brilliant for like your social media posts for doing things like quotations with images, or pulling together basic flyers or brochures. The other website that I'd recommend with Canva is one called Lunapic. It's L-U-N-A-P-I-C. I will put the links below. Lunapic is one that I discovered um, a couple of years ago. It's great for if you've got a logo or a photograph that you need to kind of do some basic editing on, so things like where you need to make the background transparent so that you can use it for something else. Lunapic is great for that. And the other website that I've discovered in this whole category of like helping with graphics, which I hadn't realized was there, but basically unsplash.com is great for kind of like royalty free um, images that don't look like um, crappy like stock photos. I think I got that tip from, I think it might have been Sean Cannell or Wes McDowell maybe. Um, I'm probably misquoting both, but I will include their links below. But Unsplash has visuals that are way better and kind of a lot more natural looking, so I started using that a lot, unsplash.com. The third set in terms of the apps that we use, when we need pieces of work doing and we don't necessarily have the skills in the core team, there are two websites that we go to, and the first one is fiverr.com, which you must have heard of, uh, so I'm not even going to bother the spelling it, but yeah, you know, it's where you can kind of get everything and anything. And then the other one is Upwork, and the, the difference, I guess, set it from our perspective, we have used Upwork probably for more um, kind of like in-depth pieces of work where the instructions maybe aren't as simple as, you know, can you just do me a flyer? So it might be pieces of work that are kind of like longer where the instructions are maybe more complex. So that's how we use those two particular um, websites. And then the fourth one in terms of apps that we use, it's actually more of a website, I guess, it's Squarespace. So Squarespace is the website that's been my go-to for building websites for a long time. And I have tried others, you know, I've tried WordPress, I hate WordPress by the way. I've tried Wix and I've tried a few other things. But for me, Squarespace is hands down the easiest um, to use if you're not a coder. And also their websites look beautiful. Now, um, I think for people that can code or are more technical, they don't necessarily have the best functionality, but I think if you're not technical, Squarespace is absolutely perfect for you. And then the fifth and final section that I've got, or the fifth app that I've got in terms of uh, what we use for our business, is Free Agent. Now, Free Agent is um, accounting software, accounting and bookkeeping software, so a little bit boring, but I'm an accountant, so I have to include this one. Um, I know there are others out there, and I have tried them, and we do have one of our businesses on QuickBooks, which I'm going to be honest, I absolutely hate. But Free Agent for me, um, hands down, is the, the easiest to use, the best user interface. Yeah, so I kind of just love Free Agent. So I hope you found that useful. I just wanted to share um, those with you. I know sometimes we get a lot of questions in terms of, you know, what website builder do you use, etc. So I just kind of thought I'd share those top five. Certainly, if you're a small business, I would highly recommend that you check those out. Okay, definitely more to come. So if you like what you saw in today's video, please subscribe and click on the notification button so that you can see when my next video is out. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. 
I'm gonna run through the five apps that we use to run our businesses. So this is, let me look at the camera. 